Okay guys, I'm making this next video because I want to show you the temperature of what my Winmax is uh, running at right now. Now it's been about two to three hours straight now with some nasty wind. So I'm going to explain a lot of things in here because when I go out there you might not be able to hear me. Um, so we have our temperature of this water and I'm just going to prove that we're pretty accurate as far as temperature goes. Okay, we could say that's pretty close. Okay, no matter the distance I am, it stays around 200 degrees. So we're going to go up and take a look. Sorry for the mess here. We obviously made dinner last night and I was a little embarrassed by it, but I want to catch this while I can, guys. So we're going to go right outside. It's going to be noisy now. Oh, the other thing is I taped this to my hand because it's the only thing I could think of where you think I, um, where anybody could say I switched sensors or anything like that. Um, so it's taped to my hand. I'm going to climb the ladder with the camera in hand and still rolling, and we're going to go up there and see what temperature that Wimax is running at. Again, it's been running for about two to three hours straight now. Um, the outside temperature is 72 degrees Fahrenheit, um, so that affects your PMA temperature. So let's go see what we're getting for temperatures out there. I'm going to use my camera hand to open the door, I'm sorry. As you can see, we're getting nice wind coming across here. Let's see if it's, oh, it might be dying out a little bit now. Okay, we'll get up there real quick. I blew my ladder over. It is starting to die out a little bit now. It was nasty earlier. Okay. Let's see if I can get close enough to it without accidentally injuring myself. Now it would be hard to catch it on the camera, but the dots on it. There's the temperature she's running at. 83 degrees. These gusts we're getting right now, we've been getting for a while. So I barely hold the camera myself straight. I've already seen 30 amps now today out of this turbine, so 83 degrees. Operating temperature of this turbine is 140 degrees. So I wanted to share this with you guys. I'm going to cut and go in the basement. It's getting nasty. Okay, I just got down from the ladder. You can see our wind is still kicking pretty good here. Uh, trees are, I'm a little protected where I'm at, so I don't think there's going to be too much microphone noise now. Um, let's go down into inside here. I want to show you, I still have this tape to my hand, so uh, it's going to be a little tricky here. Give me a second, guys, sorry. Grabbing the wind gauge, I want to catch this all in one motion for you. Because um, it, it's difficult to tell when people cut in and out of camera. And um, I want to make sure you guys get accurate readings because, in all honesty, if you buy something and you're unhappy about it, um, and somebody cheated you in an idea, uh, I don't think that's fair. So, let's see here. Not getting much ramp, or let's see what we're getting for wind, though. The wind might have died out again. There's 20 amps. I'm gonna set the camera down for a second here, guys, and take this meter off my hand. Okay, that'll help. All right, again, all in one motion. You saw the outside. Sorry, I couldn't get down the ladder with the video still rolling there. Um, looks like the wind's dying out a little bit there. It's 10 mile an hour wind. Uh, last gust was 19. Ooh. There she is, 30 amps. That's what I wanted to get for you guys, 32. What was that gust? 23 mile an hour gust. Ooh, almost 40 there. That's the most I've seen. So like I said, we're getting some nasty gusts out there. 23 kinds of mile an hour wind right now. 40 amps out of one turbine. Now, I'm gonna keep the video rolling here again. I hear stuff blowing around outside. Let me see if I can get this open for you guys. Um, just to prove I still only have one thing coming in here, I still only have my one disconnect, my one charge controller, okay? Now my only conduit coming in here is this one, okay? These conduits going down, they go down, and I have a little bit of water in my basement, that's why I got the dehumidifier running. I gotta pump that out today. We had a nasty rainstorm this morning, and every now and then this corner floods. So long story short, 
those seal tights go into this box. So to prove I only have one source of power coming in, um, we're gonna go back to my box here and then follow that conduit. And I only have three wires going through and that's all three phases of my Winmax turbine. So those three wires are the only thing that come into this box. It's the only thing that could be feeding the system. That's the only power that's coming in. Again, those two wires go down and into this box. And this is my battery box. And we'll take a look inside there real quick. So there's my thicker gauge wire that goes right to the batteries. And the other thicker gauge wire, that's all four out, that goes to the other side of the batteries. And the other ones are from the charging. So that's your, or that's uh, the inverter. And the other ones are the charging. So there's your four seal tight wires. So one positive, one negative, one positive, one negative, all going into this box. And that's how we got our amperage readings. Just wanted to show you I'm not cheating this in any way. My batteries are actually close to full again. Um, so probably gonna end up switching over here in a second. And now uh, let's see if we get any anything cool again. My 40 amps just uh, amazed me. It's been going like this now for about two to three hours, guys. So, and the weather forecast was only 10 to 15 mile an hour winds. I, they were, which they're wrong often. They they were wrong. So those three phases actually come into this this box and all I do is I bring them through the seal tight here uh, right into our charge controller and it's actually this one here is my three phase and the other three phase hook up in here. I wish I had a screwdriver down here to show you real quick but I don't. Um, I wasn't prepared for this. It just was a spur of the moment thing. And then my DC goes down and in, into the uh, first the fuse box, uh, then the shunt and then from there the meter. So and then down into the batteries, so. All right guys, uh, and I did this all in one smooth motion. If I make a mistake, I, I really don't care how I look nationally on YouTube. <laughs> Ultimately, I wanted to show you guys the numbers, thanks. Okay, this is literally five minutes after my last video there, guys, and uh, the reason why I'm taking this one here is people have asked, how does it sound inside? So we're getting about the same wind we have been here. It's still gusting pretty good. Um, let's see if we get a good gust here. And, be quiet see if you can hear it this is that outside wall okay so when you look at my turbine this is that window that's right next to my riser my riser literally runs right next to this window on the outside okay so let's see if we hear it wind It's got a light hum to it. Now I do have a cold air return right here too as well, and that has a booster on it. So you're gonna hear a little bit of noise from that in the background. So you can bring it right up close to it, you can hear that. So you guys be the judge. I'm trying to be quiet so you can hear it. It has a light hum to it. Look at that wind. It's probably seeing 30 to 40 amps down there again right now. Alright guys, I'll get this up for you so everybody can see.